Patreon of Jevo today and receive a ton of perks including Discord roles, early access content, private support channels, code snippets, and more. Join today at patreon.com slash jevajs. Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zua from Jeva. Today we're going to be, um, we're going to be doing, uh, intro to JavaScript, uh, scripting in 5M. So, uh, by the way, all the code is going to be in the link in the description below. So, um, yeah, I'll put that down there. So, what we're going to want to do is I'm going to start off going into creating my... So, actually, what we're going to be doing today is it's just going to be really simple. We're just going to be, um using uh, events uh, to trigger from the client side to the server side um, through JavaScript just so you guys have a good idea of how it works or how um, the events work and how they're triggered so uh, yeah let's start there um, so I'm going to start creating a new resource I'm going to call it JS chats just like that because um, that's what we're just going to do JS Okay, sorry about that. Um, so what I'm gonna wanna do is, uh, so we created the folder. I'm gonna open this in uh, VS, so I can just create the files from here. So I'm gonna be creating a resource dot Lua, and I'm gonna be creating a folder src, it's a source folder where I'm gonna be putting my client dot js and my server dot js. And I'm just saying, uh, if you are completely new to JavaScript and you wanna learn how to uh, to JavaScript uh, for 5M, I'd honestly learn the syntax of JavaScript before you come here because uh, it, I guess it can be, it's a little different than Lua. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, in here, I'm going to go to my resource.lua and I'm going to uh, declare them in here. Server script is the src slash server.js, and then I'm going to do that there. I'm going to do uh, server client underscore script. And then I'm going to do client.js. Um, then, uh, what's it called? In, let's actually start off with the server script um, where we're going to be triggering the, ch or we're going to be listening for the uh, event. If uh, We're going to be creating an event and it's going to be listening um, until it's triggered from the client side or wherever. So I'm going to do on net, which is a function. Sorry about that. Okay. On net, uh, we're gonna be calling this event JS chat, and then this has a callback of message and color because the, I'll show you how we're gonna make this. So um, it'll be uh, it'll have two parameters, color and message. Um, so yeah, in fact, I'm just gonna write uh, whatever. Never mind. Um, so we're, we have to trigger the uh, chat, um, the chat event. Okay, so like I was saying, we have to trigger the um, chat add message event, uh, and we we did that in uh, what's called in Lua. Like, uh, or I'll put this in comments. Uh, we did like trigger um, client event chat add message. So what we're gonna wanna do in JavaScript, we're gonna have to do emit net. Um, chat add message and it would be uh, emit if we were in the client side um, I think if I'm correct uh, but we're on the server side here and it really it, it, it's it's kind of complicated how they made it in JavaScript but uh, I feel like I have a good understanding and hopefully you can too after this so uh, this has a parameter. I'm gonna add the minus one so everyone can see it and I'm gonna have an array or an object here and uh, in this object we're gonna have args um, the args just like uh, in the chat we're gonna have pass in the message parameter and then the color is gonna take in the color parameter because we're gonna make color an object right here and uh, also message an object or message not object is a string so yeah Okay, so um, we're also gonna make it log out the message. So console dot log message. We're gonna make the message show up in our uh, console, and then we're gonna wanna add a return statement when we're done. So now let's go ahead over to the uh, client side here, and I'm gonna do um, register command uh, js chat. I'm gonna be calling this command js chat, and then 
I'm going to want to make this asynchronous, uh, one of the wonders of, uh, what's it called, uh, JavaScript, I guess. So yeah, it's going to have a source, or we're going to make this callback asynchronous, a source and then args, and uh, this is going to have a, uh, this is going to be in callback, so the arrow string right there, or arrow function right there. Uh, I'm just saying you don't have to do the arrow function, you could just add function right here, and uh, that would work too. I just I write JavaScript like that, and there's a little difference in the arrow string too uh, than a function callback. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be uh, we're gonna want to make this args uh, concat. So in Lua we were like table dot concat the args, and then we have the separator as a second parameter. That's how we did it in Lua. So um, if we did like uh, let me see if we did like I'm gonna put this below it. We did like slash uh, js chat um, help me. Uh, it would you know show up as only this as how if we were to do it. But if we were to do it in JavaScript, we have to do. Or I'm gonna make a uh, I'm gonna make create a variable called uh, arg string. Uh, arg string is equal to args dot join, uh, and then we have to do so. It's args is this you know it's gonna output an object or an array so like I'm just saying like if we were to do that it would output um, it would output uh, something like uh, what's it called help and then me that's what that would output or if we were to do that so we have to actually join it uh, join as a function you can read that if you want pause it but we're, it's just gonna pretty much bring all the uh, all the uh, objects or the, all the uh, entries in the array into one, and then we're gonna make it separate by a um, uh, just like up here, we're gonna make it uh, separate by a string or by a space. So, and we also want to make it let because I, I, I th it uses a little, it uses less, you know, resources, and it let just only works in this function scope. If we were to make it var, it would work outside, I think. Uh, I don't know how the register command. Uh, scope is but yeah so now what we're gonna want to do is um, we're gonna want to trigger the uh, server event here so I'm gonna do emit net um, what's it called JS chat uh, and then we're gonna want to make this we want we want so how we made it was the message was the first parameter and I'm gonna put this on the other side here so the message was the first parameter and then the color was the other parameter so I'm gonna do args um, string or, or args string, and then um, what's it called? Uh, I want to put this. Or I'm gonna put this in a parenthesis. So I'm gonna make like a little handler to see if it works or if it's like empty or not. Um, so I'm gonna do question mark. So what this question mark does? It's like an inline. Uh, it checks if it exists. So, if uh, our string exists, then uh, the next condition, if it's true, then we will ju just make it output um, our string. And then if it's false, we will just say nothing. It's kind of I just wanted to do that because it's a little more. It's it's better to have you know as a way to handle it. Handle if there's nothing put into uh, the arg string. So if the arg if the arg string exists, then it'll just output arg string. But if it doesn't, then it'll just say nothing. Then the next uh, parameter we have is the color, so I'm going to make it green, and uh, green usually means success, so I'll do that, 02550, uh, RGB, I guess, so red, green, blue, so yeah. That's pretty much it. I'm going to want to add the return statement, and i got to get rid of that comma. Okay, there we go, just like that, and um, I'm going to add the return statement. And I think I said something about um, emit net only works for the server side. That's not true. Uh, yeah, it's confusing, but yeah. So I'm gonna go run this. Um, I'm gonna go run this right now. Actually, uh, it's called. Uh, and I'll I'll see you guys in the server. Make sure to add it in your uh, resource dot Lua or whatever. So uh, yeah. Um, what is it? Start five. Okay. So I'll I'll see you guys in the server. Okay, so I'm in my server now, and I'm gonna do uh, here JS chat um, hello, 
and it should, you know, it, it outputs hello. And then if we go into our server log, we can see that it says hello. Um, if I do uh, slash js chats just and not put anything, it'll say nothing. In here, it's gonna say nothing. So hopefully you guys can understand how that works. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. It's not that long. There's not that much, uh, you know, depth into it. I wanted to keep it simple because it can be a little confusing how um, what's called how different JavaScript is in its behavior. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna continue this JavaScript series. I I personally um, JavaScript's like my favorite uh, language. It's what I write in um, for all my other stuff. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, join our Discord, become a Patreon, and uh, yeah, all that stuff. So yeah, see you guys.